As president of Lake Superior State University, it is my honor to welcome you to the university's 58th annual commencement ceremony. To kick off this very special event today, please join me in the singing of the Canadian and American national anthems led by Ms. Megan Gardner. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love, in all thy sons command, with glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free, from far and wide, O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave thank you miss gardner it is now my pleasure to introduce you to the several distinguished guests and participants who are with us today, including the University Board of Trustees, Mr. Tom Bailey, Chairman, Mr. Richard Barch, Ms. Patricia Caruso, Mr. Timothy Lukenda, Dr. Mark Mercer, Mr. Randy Pingator, Ms. Sandy Frost Steensma, and Ms. Cynthia Williams. I also want to recognize the senior management of the university, including Dr. Lynn Gillette, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Mr. Scott Smith, Vice President of Advancement, Mr. Maury Walworth, Vice President of Finance and Operations, Ms. Wendy Beach, Director of Human Resources, Safety and Risk Management, Dr. Michael Beasley, Dean of Student Life and Retention, Dr. David Pateson, Director of Athletics, and Mr. Fred Pierce, Dean of Admissions and Marketing. I also want to recognize the academic deans of the university, including Dr. Kathy Burcham, Dean of the College of Health and Behavior, Dr. Steve Johnson, Dean of the College of Science and the Environment, Dr. Barb Light, Dean of the College of Education and Liberal Arts, Interim Dean of the College of criminal justice and emergency responders. And Dr. Kimberly Muller, Dean of the College of Innovation and Solutions. I also want to recognize a few other people who serve critical roles at the university, including Mr. Mark Boucher, Director of Library and Academic Services. Mr. Tom Coates, Associate Vice President for Community and Alumni Relations and Director of the University Foundation.
Dr. Gail Essmaker, Vice Provost for Accreditation and Assessment, and Dr. Ashley Murky, Director of the Center for Freshwater Research and Education. Of course, no acknowledgments would be complete without recognition of perhaps the most important group participating today, the university's faculty members. It is their generosity of spirit and guiding light and special wisdom and knowledge who have contributed so much to the personal growth and academic success of the graduates we honor today. I would ask all of you to join me in acknowledging and thanking these very remarkable and educated people, the honored faculty of Lake Superior State University. Our faculty are also joined by members of our staff and administration who are watching to help share in this very special celebration. All of our staff and administrators play essential roles in making the university a vibrant and necessary institution, especially in this most challenging past year. I ask that you join me in thanking them for their many contributions to our institution. Lake Superior State University is proud to present this commencement through a webcast for all family and friends. A virtual ceremony is not what we envision for a graduation ceremony today. However, with the greatest medical crisis to hit the globe in over a century, maintaining social distancing became the wise and appropriate thing to do in order to keep everyone safe. A lot of work goes into planning a commencement, even a virtual one. Today's ceremony would not have happened without the tremendous efforts of the provost's office, the library and academic services, the registrar's office, the marketing department, the division of student affairs, the physical plant, and the University Foundation. A special studio was even set up in the library just for today's ceremony. We wanted to replicate the look and feel of an in-person ceremony as close as we reasonably could. What a year it's been. By most measures, this past year has been the most disruptive in the history of higher education in the United States. In March of last year, we received word of people becoming sick from a strange new virus that came from China. At first, the cases were few, mainly affecting people in California and New York. But within a few weeks, the number of cases began to jump, and the people infected were from more and more states. Italy was especially hard hit early on, and we were all shocked when that entire country shut down and severe restrictions were put in place. Here at Lake Superior State University, we were anxiously watching the spread of the virus, and we began to wonder out loud when the virus would arrive in Michigan. Well, we didn't have long to wait. By the middle of March, the governor had asked universities to transition to online course delivery, along with various other social, social distancing protocols. And what I still believe was the single most impressive things I've ever witnessed at a university, our faculty and students transitioned to online course delivery with very little trouble. In fact, this transition was done in the space of a weekend. We did this without closing the campus or sending any student home. We recognize that many of our students may not have had reliable internet connections at home or were not able to get regular meals. We were able to complete the semester. And I want to thank, offer a special thank you to all the faculty, the staff, and the administrators who have made this celebration possible. In the celebration today, you will hear from our commencement speaker, Mr. David John president and chief executive officer of War Memorial Hospital right here in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. We will also announce the recipient of the Distinguished Teaching Award. We will also hear from the graduating student speaker, Roman Bengert. At this time, I would like to introduce our provost and vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Lynn Gillette. Thank you, President Hanley. It is my honor to announce the 2020 recipient of the Lake Superior State University Distinguished Teaching Award. Each year since 1971, Lake Superior State University has honored one faculty member as its Distinguished Teacher at Commencement. We do this to highlight the value we place upon excellent teaching in our institution. A Distinguished Teacher has clear student learning objectives for his or her courses, demonstrates command of his or her subject matter, explains difficult concepts clearly, utilizes creative and innovative methods to engage students, generates excitement and enthusiasm for the subject, sets high standards, and helps students reach those standards and inspire students. 
Past recipients of the Distinguished Teaching Award who currently serve on our faculty include Dr. Sally Childs, Dr. Madden Saluja, Dr. Kathy Bertram, Dr. Andrew Jones, Dr. Russ Seawright, Dr. Ashley Murky, Mr. Herb Henderson, Dr. John Reese, Dr. Joe Susie, Dr. Paul Kelso, Dr. George Stinger. Now a bit of information about the 2020 Distinguished Teacher Recipient. The 2020 winner is described by their students as a highly respected, creative, and inspiring professor. They encourage students to push past their boundaries and aspire for more. This professor's standards for students are nothing short of challenging, but they will never hesitate to help a student rise to these standards. This professor's creative and active classroom activities inspire students to collaborate with each other, helping them develop real-world skills for their future success. Even students from outside this professor's major state that after taking classes with them, they became passionate about what they had learned and often searched this professor out to discuss ideas. This professor helped them become global citizens. One student described this professor as one of the most influential people in their life in that this professor recognized the potential the student had before they themselves did and pushed them to reach that potential. The 2020 recipient of the Lake Superior State University Distinguished Teaching Award is Dr. Melissa Schaefer O'Connell. Thank you for this honor, but I can't take credit when there are so many other people who have made this possible. I was told I have two minutes to thank everyone, so as a typical professor, I've written a 15-minute thank you speech. But don't worry, I'll talk fast. First, I need to give credit to my husband, Ken, and to my mother, Elizabeth. Together, they've kept me fed, in clean clothes, and listened to untold hours of me telling classroom stories and complaining about grading. Then, of course, part of this award also goes to my colleagues. They've also had to listen to hours of classroom stories, in addition to teaching ideas and random thoughts on my way to the bathroom. I can count on an open door and willing ear almost any day when I walk down my hallway, and I can't thank them enough for that. For an introvert, I can be very chatty. But really, it's the students who deserve this award more than I do. It's difficult to quantify learning, and as a qualitative researcher, I'm not even going to try. Instead, I can say that I have learned so much more from my students than they've learned from me. Even more importantly, they've entertained me every day I'm in the classroom. They make it worth it, they keep me coming back, so this belongs to them. But I'm going to keep it. To conclude, for a graduation ceremony, I feel obligated to offer some words of wisdom. Unfortunately, I haven't any. Instead, I'll offer cliched advice that will shock my seniors to hear. A plan for our life is important because it keeps us moving forward and working toward our goals. Life doesn't follow a plan, however, and that's a good thing. I never planned to be a professor, yet here I am. Sometimes you just have to throw the plan out the window, spend some time with good friends, which is invaluable, and do what makes you happy, as long as you get your assignments in on time. With that, I'll end this brief lecture with another thank you. So thank you. Congratulations, Melissa. It is now my honor to introduce the graduating student speaker. Among many excellent graduates, Mr. Roman N. Bengert has been selected to be the student speaker on behalf of the class of 2020. Roman was born in Kyoto, Japan, and moved to Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia, Canada when he was seven years old. He graduated summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in mathematics. He has excelled with the senior project working with Dr. Rob Kipka. Roman was selected as the 2020 Outstanding Graduate in Mathematics. He is currently attending the University of Prince Edward Island where he is working on his Master's of Business Administration. Next year, he will continue his hockey career by playing professional hockey for the Nico Ice Bucks of the Asian League in Japan. Ultimately, he plans to pursue a career as an actuary or business risk analyst Please welcome the graduating student speaker for the class of 2020, Mr. Roman N. Bengert. I would first like to thank the faculty members of LSSU. On behalf of the graduating class of 2020, I'd like to express the admiration and appreciation we have for all of the staff members who have supported and guided our learning experience. 
I would personally like to thank the math department, business department, advisors, and Dr. Robert Kipka. I thank you deeply for your mentorship. I would also like to thank the loved ones who have supported us long before our journeys began at LSSU. Parents, guardians, family members, friends, significant others, and roommates. The achievements we are able to share with you today is attributed strictly to your unselfishness, kindness, and benevolence. Lastly, thank you to all of you who have impacted our academic journey through cherished memories, laughter, and fellowship. Now, there is no denying the challenges we have had to endure as adults entering the workforce or continuing our education elsewhere in the year of 2020. Also, we cannot ignore the rapid changes occurring around us. Now more than ever, the media, public officials, and celebrities saturate our lives with highly politicized ideologies. We repeatedly hear words such as unity and love from the very mouths of people who act with no solidarity. The blatant hypocrisy undermines our society and our individual liberties. At times you may feel helpless to influence the course of humanity and our world, but there's always something you can control, ourselves. None of us are guaranteed a tomorrow, but we do know for certain that we all possess the ability to build on our lives, careers, and the relations with the ones around us every single day. Empathy can be our greatest asset. Allow it to ameliorate our differences and challenge the division instilled upon us by the absolutists and ideologues who only gain power through the division of the people. Perhaps when we first enrolled at LSSU, our initial intentions were to obtain knowledge from the terrific faculty members at this institution and apply those talents to our dream career. However, we cannot dismiss the most priceless resource we have garnered here, the transformation into lifelong learners. Take that resource, apply it daily, and learn from others. It is not always easy to listen and understand opposing perspectives, but oftentimes, those are exactly the perspectives that will most benefit us. Do not be complacent by simply understanding differences. Study those differences of values and question the consensus. Ultimately, the obligation to listen is just as imperative as our right to speak. Let us be grateful for our accomplishments today, but be eternally proud of the experiences we have accumulated and the people we've become through LSSU. Dominate your own future, have compassion, and never forget to appreciate and love the ones who support you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Benger, for those words of wisdom. Now, I would like to introduce our featured commencement speaker for today. Mr. David John joined War Memorial Hospital right here in Sault Ste. Marie as President and Chief Executive Officer in 2005. Previously, Mr. John was Vice President for Marketing at MHA Insurance Company and CEO and Chief Financial Officer at Schoolcraft Memorial Hospital in Manistique, Michigan. Mr. John began his career in 1980 as a staff accountant for Marquette General Hospital. He received a Bachelor's of Science degree in Business Administration and Accounting from Michigan Tech in 1980 and a master's degree in business administration from Lake Superior State University in 1990. In addition to serving as president of War Memorial Hospital, Mr. John currently serves as the vice chairman of the Michigan Center for Rural Health, and he has served as the president of the Upper Peninsula Hospital Council and the Upper Peninsula Health Care ne uh, Network Board of Directors. Locally, Mr. John is a member of the Rotary Club, the Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors, and sits on the United Way of Eastern Upper Peninsula Board of Directors. Mr. John lives in Sault Ste. Marie, and he has four children and four grandchildren. It is my pleasure to introduce a proud alum of Lake Superior State University and a key member of our community during this global pandemic, Mr. David John. President Hanley, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty and support staff, family, friends, and most importantly, today's graduates. It is indeed an honor for me to be here today. Wow, what a year. Never before has a university and two graduating classes had to endure such a change during their college experience. 
Your world has been tossed upside down so many times during the last year because of the pandemic, yet you persevered and successfully made it through to graduation. Congratulations on making it to today. Many people fear change, but all of you have made change and disruption a normal part of everyday life. You have learned to cope and achieve your goals despite all of these obstacles. The ability to adapt to change is a highly desirable skill in the employment world and because of the events of the last year that each of you has had to deal with, I am confident that no matter what your career path might be, the last year has molded all of you into a better, much more resilient person. The healthcare industry has also had its disruption during the last year as well. We have been fortunate in Sault Ste. Marie compared to other areas of the state. We went more than six months with very few positive COVID-19 cases or admissions to the hospital. When we did see a surge, it was very hard on all of us and we actually lost one of our team members to the virus. Fortunately, at this point, we are seeing lower numbers and nowhere near the number of people needing hospitalization or dying. Despite these heroic efforts to stop the spread of the virus, it is still out there, and we have lost 26 residents of Chippewa County to this disease so far. I think with the advent of the now three COVID-19 vaccines, we are starting to see less spread because of the immunities to the disease the vaccine provides. I always try to look at the science and not the politics of the situation sway me from the facts. Because our community was proactive from the beginning, following the social distancing, mask wearing and hand washing guidelines, we were able to limit the potential catastrophic spread of the virus in our community. I know that the university also did an excellent job following the science, and I really appreciate the steps that they have taken to limit the potential spread of the virus on campus which contributed to our healthcare systems not being overwhelmed with cases and admissions. We all want to get back to normal quickly, and it looks like we are making progress at this point. But no matter what age you are, we all need to continue to follow the science in order to make our world a much safer place for everyone in the future. When I look back at my college graduation, which was back in 1980, a long time ago, I sat in my chair with my cap and gown and wondered where my life would take me. The first part of my college career was not very successful. I had failed at becoming an electrical engineer, which had been my dream. Chemistry and calculus kind of kicked my butt. After a robust first year GPA of .71 and some self-accountability on my part, I was successful in earning a bachelor's degree in business administration with a major in accounting. I was determined to be the best accountant that I could be. But what transpired in the next few years of my career, I could never have predicted. My first job was as a staff accountant at Marquette General Hospital. After a year and a half in that position, I saw a job opening for a chief financial officer at the hospital in my hometown of Manistique. My first thought was that I was too young and didn't have enough experience to apply for such a position. But after about a week of contemplating about it, I thought, why not apply? It can't hurt anything, and it might be a great experience to go through the interview process. I was also thinking, why should age matter? What really matters is the drive you have deep inside to be successful, your passion for the job, and the willingness to work hard and prove to people that you can be great at what you do no matter what age you might be. So I applied, and to my surprise, I was offered the job. I was 23 at the time. Six months later, the CEO of the hospital left, and I went to the board chairman and told him that I could do both jobs, CFO and CEO. The board at the time was considering hiring a management company to bring a new CEO, and they had told the board that I was too young and didn't have enough experience. They could mentor me for three to five years, and at that time I, I would be ready to be a CEO. Fortunately for me, the board trusted my skills and abilities and hired me to be both the CFO and CEO of the hospital at the ripe old age of 24. I did both jobs for 17 years and continued on as the CFO only for another five years. 
the lessons that I learned from this experience were believe in yourself and your abilities. Don't let age be a deterrent to pursuing the career path that you desire and take the opportunity to explore early in your career those opportunities that might present themselves. I was fortunate that the board saw something within me and gave me the chance. But after I was awarded that chance, it was up to me to prove to the board, the hospital staff, and the community that I could successfully lead the organization and show everyone that the board had made the right choice. For the last 15 plus years, I have been the president and CEO of War Memorial Hospital right here in Sault Ste. Marie. And during this time, our team has done a great job of expanding the services that we offer to our local community and making sure that we offer high quality, safe patient care. I couldn't have imagined on my college graduation day that by the time I was in my early 60s, that, that I would have completed almost 40 years as a hospital CEO. You may think that you have your career path all mapped out at this point, but more than likely, each of you will experience changes to that plan as new opportunities present them, themselves along your life's journey. The good news is that each of you is better prepared to adapt to change that may happen because of what you all have learned and endured over the last year in coping with the pandemic. What have I learned from my life experiences that I could share with all of you that might be thought-provoking and help you along your career path? First, whether it's in your personal life or your work life, the success that you have will be based on your ability to build and maintain relationships. By building positive relationships with others, you earn their trust and support. This can only happen if these relationships are built with integrity and honesty. The old saying is that it takes a long time to build trust with someone and that you earn trust in drops. But if things go bad within that relationship, you lose trust in buckets. Honesty, integrity, and transparency have to be the foundation of those relationships to be successful. Next, have compassion and empathy for others. One of my favorite sayings is, if you could stand in someone else's shoes, hear what they hear, see what they see, feel what they feel, would you treat them differently? This statement rings loud in the healthcare industry, but also in life as well. We don't really know what other people might be dealing with at a particular time. Our initial perception might completely be wrong about that individual. If we had only known what was going on in their life at that moment, would we have treated them differently? Since we really don't know what is going on in the lives of others, having compassion and empathy for them is a trait that we all should strive to achieve. I have also found it beneficial to the develop the ability to deal with criticism or complaints without bringing personal emotion into the equation. Most people hear complaints or criticism and don't deal well with it because immediately they put up a wall or take it personally and become defensive. Most complaints or criticisms that might come your way may be based on the perception or the information that the other person has, which may not be entirely accurate. If we get defensive as soon as criticism is brought forward, we never allow ourselves to have an honest discussion with the other individual to find out what they have the perception that they do. So what I have done in my career, and let me tell you, I have had a lot of complaints and criticisms directed my way, is to look at each complaint or criticism that I receive as an opportunity for improvement. This way, I don't get defensive, and I look at this as a problem-solving opportunity where I can share additional information with the person complaining and get a true picture of what they see as their reality. At times, the complaint or criticism may be accurate, and at that point, you can apologize for what happened and make the changes so that it doesn't happen again. At other times, the complaint or criticism may not be correct, and when this happens, you can take the time to clear this misperception up by sharing the true information with that individual. These type of resolutions are not possible if you take criticism or complaints to a personal level and get defensive. My advice to each of you would be to take every complaint or criticism 
as an opportunity for improvement. This type of behavior will go a long way in building positive relationships with all the people in your work and personal life. <clears throat> be kind. Do you realize how many more positive relationships that you can build by just being kind? I'm old school. I still open doors for people. I say thank you and you're welcome. I let everyone out of an elevator before I leave. I smile and say hi to almost everyone I, that I meet. Do you know how far those actions go towards building the relationship that you need to be successful? It is even more important to be kind when you are in a position of leadership. In today's world, a lot of people have lost the ability to be kind to one another. With the advent of social media, texting, and communication from afar, it seems like people say nasty things and start rumors through these new channels of communication that they, that, they, that they would have never said to someone face to face. It's sad to think how many relationships have been ruined because of this. One of my sayings in this regard is never say anything to someone else that you wouldn't have said to your mother or your grandmother. Kindness will go a long way in making you successful. Be humble. All of us were born in basically the same way. We were infants and we needed someone to take care of us. We all live because our lungs take in oxygen to sustain us and our mouths take in nutrition to give us energy. We all take different paths in our lives, we were, but we are still all human beings at the basic level. So why should some people think they are better than others? None of us could have made it this far without the help of others. Our lives are about the we, not the I. Just because you are in a leadership position make more money, or have more education than some other people, it doesn't mean that you are better than them. As I tell my team at the hospital, I am the least important person to our organization. The housekeeping staff who clean to prevent infections and the food and nutrition services staff who prepare meals are much more important to the patients than I am. I have always believed that to be successful and respected, you need to be humble and not think too highly of yourself. When you hear someone else talk about, I did this and I did that, do you get a positive feeling about them? As opposed to someone who says that we were able to accomplish this together. Most people feel much more engaged when they get part of, a, when they get part of the credit for any success. They also feel isolated when any individual is taking solo credit for everything that was accomplished. This style of leadership is known as servant leadership. You are the leader, but you are there to serve others. Remember, none of us would be here right now if we didn't have the help of others to lead us along our life's journey. Chase your happiness, not the money. Too many people get into a career path based on how much money they make in a job. I'm certainly not here to tell you that money isn't important. But I would challenge you that your happiness is more important than whatever amount of money that you could earn. If you are rich and unhappy, do you think that you will be satisfied? We need to do things in our life that brings us happiness and has purpose. Since our work life is going to take up almost half of our waking hours during our careers, we need to make sure that we have a passion and a desire for what we are doing. For example, I have heard people say that they want to be a nurse because it's a good wage associated with that position. I would argue that if you want to be a nurse and the only reason you want to be a nurse is for the money, then you probably won't make a good nurse. The best nurses are those who have this deep-seated passion to help others and to heal the sick. Those nurses certainly care about their wages, but more importantly to them, their happiness comes from helping others and not the paycheck. This can be said about any career that an individual might choose. So as you move into the next phase of your life, think about what your passion is, understand that passion, and chase your happiness. The last lesson that I've learned over my career is be willing to get involved within your community. Some of it may be related to your work life, but it also includes being involved with different passions that you have outside of work. 
There are many things that I've been involved with over the last 40 years that I am passionate about. I have been a member of Rotary International for almost 40 years, and I've been involved in the local United Way for over 15 years, along with many other organizations from time to time. By taking the time to be involved within your community, you not only help your community grow, but you also give back to those things that are important to you. I see too many people just sit back and not get involved when they have so much to offer to their communities. The lessons that I have learned above have helped me be successful in my career. And I think they can help each of you be successful as well. As I close, I am reminded of a book that has really inspired me over time. Have you ever heard of the book, The Dash? Well, it's a book that talks about two certainties in everyone's life. The day you were born and the day that you die. On your tombstone or in your eulogy, it will say born on this day, then there will be a dash, and then it will say died on this day. The book talks not about the day that you were born or the day that you will die, but it talks about the dash and what you have accomplished in your life, which is signified by the dash. What will your dash mean to those you have known or who you love? Only one person can control what your dash will be filled with, and that is you. As you embark on this new phase of your life journey, I hope that your dash is filled with success and happiness. It has been an honor to be here virtually with all of you today. Congratulations, graduates, on this great accomplishment, and I wish all of you the best of luck in whatever direction your passion takes you. I would also like to thank the parents of the graduates. Without your help and support, these graduates would not be here today. Finally, I am not sure that life will ever get back to normal, but we are creating a new normal each and every day. With all of these new Laker graduates ready to make the world better, I know that we are in good hands. Go Lakers! Thank you, David. We are now on to the celebration that is today. It is my privilege to begin the presentation of the 2020 class of Lake Superior State University. The degree candidates will be presented alphabetically. Mr. Thomas Coates, Associate Vice President of Community and Alumni Relations and Director of the LSSU Foundation will read the graduates' names. Dylan Chad Alderink, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. James Dominic Abruzcado, Associate Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement. Emily Jane Ace Thorpe, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries, Wildlife Management. Tyler Jacob Albert, Bachelor of Science, Finance and Economics. J. Michael Ammerman, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Ali Elizabeth Anderson, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry Pre-Professional. Amy Jo Anderson, Bachelor of Science, General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Damon Michael Anderson, Bachelor of Science History, Bachelor of Science Political Science, Cum Laude. Douglas Allen Anger, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Nathan Richard Arend, Associate, Manufacturing Engineering Technology. Austin David Armentrout, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Dominic Sergey Atkins, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Carolyn Bagrowski, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Colin John Badgeko, Bachelor of Science, Finance and Economics, Cum Laude. Jacob Andrew Baker, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Sarah Gail Baker, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Magna Cum Laude. Kayla Elizabeth Ballots, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Andrew Scott Bambach, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Jack Dylan Bant, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Public Safety, Cum Laude. Kent Russell Barlow, 
Bachelor of Science, Computer Engineering, Cum Laude. Haven Alexis Barna, Bachelor of Science Biology, Summa Cum Laude. Brian John Basilico, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Entrepreneurship. Cody Wayne Bainham, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Marissa Joe Bazin, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Management, Cum Laude. Lindsay Marie Beardsley, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Sarah Ruth Beardsley, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Emma Renee Bell, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Jeremy Thomas Bell, Associate, Natural Resources Technology. Nicole Michelle Elmer, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Roman Nash Bengert, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude. Callie Ray Barish, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Kendra Nicole Barreth, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Corrections. Michael McClear Best, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Melly Roxy Betty, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry Pre-Professional, Cum Laude. Amy Marie Bellis, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Summa Cum Laude. Alicia Jordan Birkenauer, Bachelor of Science, Finance and Economics. Ariana Nicole Bishop, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science. Daniel Joshua Blair, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management, Summa Cum Laude. Dylan Joseph Blowingars, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Management. Andrew Todd Boswell, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Summa Cum Laude. William Keith Bouchore, Bachelor of Science, History. Alyssa Marie Bradley, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Kyle Samuel Brandman, Bachelor of Science, Manufacturing Engineering Technology. Nicholas James Brem, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice Law Enforcement, Cum Laude. Tristan Alexander Bressler, Bachelor of Science, Computer Engineering. Joshua Bruton, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Kyle Anthony Bricko, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice Generalist. Hannah Arden Brown, Bachelor of Science, History. Jordan Emily Bryson, Bachelor of Science, Parks and Recreation. William Thorne Broserod, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist, Cum Laude. Lucas Garrett Burke, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Michelle Ann Burke, Associate, Cannabis Science. Paul Stephen Burke, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist, Magna Cum Laude. Mitchell Lawrence Burlingame, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Carl Robert Burnham, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Marin C. Burrell, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Holly Patricia Burton, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Kyle Andrew Burton, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry Pre-Professional, Cum Laude. Renee Adriana Cady, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Donald Lawrence Carruthers, Associate, Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement. Kelsey Nicole Case, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Austin Decker Chamberlain, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Rachel May Chamberlain, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Jacob Patrick Chambers, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Homeland Security. Travis Chase, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Garrett Patrick Chevret, Associate General Studies. 
Elliot Arden John Christensen, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science. Taylor Lee Croninger, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Bachelor of Science, Finance and Economics, cum laude. Kiana Cicello, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Madeline K. Kalia, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, cum laude. Anessa Antoinette Collier, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, cum laude. Alec James Connell, Associate General Studies. Robert Thomas Cooper, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Isaac Joseph Corbier, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Claire Denise Cottle, Associate General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah Kendra Crossman, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Alexander Halsey Zarnicki, Bachelor of Science, History. Parker Andrew Dagnus, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Michelle Lynn Dahl, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Cum Laude. Tia Irene Daniel, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Sean William Daniels, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement. Kayla Ray Davis, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Rebecca Sharice Davis, Bachelor of Science, Parks and Recreation. Mateus De Suzy Fonai, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Devin Alexander DePaul, Bachelor of Science, Fishery Wildlife Management. Kelly Adriana Decker, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Nicholas Kenneth Deplani, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Marcy Irene Diner, Bachelor of Arts, English Language Literature, Bachelor of Science, Social Science. Paula Jean Dixon, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Magna Cum Laude. Hunter Riley Dabrowski, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice Generalist. Tanner Stanley Dabrowski, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice Generalist. Dean Robert Driggers, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Kent Charles DeBoard, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Joshua Michael Dykema, Bachelor of Science, Parks and Recreation. Samantha Lynn Driesrick, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry, Pre-Professional, Summa Cum Laude. Celia Marie Earl, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Megan Jean Easterbrook, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. Joseph J. Ekela, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Management. Ryan Edwards, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Alexander E. Elias, Bachelor of Science, Manufacturing Engineering Technology. Tyler Andrew Engstrom, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Carl Epler, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Management. Cameron Evans, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Carrie Lynn Evey, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Preston Ray Fairchild, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, Magna Cum Laude. Andrew Parker Farlow, Associate Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement. Evan Michael Ferrier, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Joseph Todd Farish, Jr., Certificate Culinary Arts Chef, Magna Cum Laude. Natalie Grace Fenchel, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Magna Cum Laude. William Randall Ferguson III, Bachelor of Science, Finance and Economics. Twyla Marie Fike, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Miranda K. Finch, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Homeland Security, 
Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement, magna cum laude. Austin Charles Firth, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement. Stephanie Marie Flynn, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, cum laude. Daniel Eric Qua, Bachelor of Science, Computer Engineering, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, summa cum laude. Lindsay Arlene Follett, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Justin Alexander Fountain, Bachelor of Arts, Literature. Taylor K. Faust, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, cum laude. Erica Louise France, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Veronica Lynn France, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Caitlin Dawn France, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Entrepreneurship, cum laude. Travis James Jelinus, Bachelor of Science, Conservation Biology. Braden Matthew Gelsinger, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Entrepreneurship. Sarah Beth Gill, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, magna cum laude. Allie Elizabeth Gilhooley, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Joseph Timothy Gilman, Bachelor of Science, Finance and Economics. Andrew Bishop Gilroy, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, summa cum laude. Hannah Brooke Gilson, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Allison Nicole Glazier, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries, Wildlife Management. Jasper Thomas Godecki, Bachelor of Science, Parks and Recreation, cum laude. Jarrett Godecki, Bachelor of Science, History. Jorge Luis Gonzalez Reyes, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Emily Ann Gorman, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Alex Richard Graham, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Allison Ray Granfield, Bachelor of Arts, Language Arts. Dylan James Grant, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Homeland Security. Dylan James Graves, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries, Wildlife Management. David Gray, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries, Wildlife Management. Michael Dean Gray, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries, Wildlife Management. Jenna Griffin, Associate, Criminal Justice, Corrections. Jacob Daniel Grover, Associate, Manufacturing, Engineering, Technology. Christopher Graham Hadfield, Certificate, M. Coles. Cassidy Lynn Haddix, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, magna cum laude. Rachel Beth Hahn, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Carissa Anne-Marie Hakala, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Marla Ann Han, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, cum laude. Sydney Louise Hank, Bachelor of Science, Parks and Recreation. Heidi Ann Hansen, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, cum laude. Derek Jacob Hartline, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries, Wildlife Management. Savannah Nicole Harvey, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Brian Scott Hasselkorn, Associate, Internet Network Specialist. Heather Ann Haskins, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, magna cum laude. Justine Catherine Hatfield, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, cum laude. Aaron Robert Heath, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering, summa cum laude. Evelyn Faith Hedberg, Associate, General Studies, magna cum laude. Scott Thomas Henderson, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Weira Evalesis Hernandez Mendez, Bachelor of Science, Biology. 
Hannah Marie Herring, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, magna cum laude. Kylie M. Hibner, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Kaylee Christine Hill, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, magna cum laude. Kyra Christine Hill, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Derek John Hofbauer, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, magna cum laude. Caitlin Nicole Hogue, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, cum laude. Sarah Marie Honeycutt, Bachelor of Arts, History. Julia Christine Hook, Bachelor of Science, Political Science. David Edward Hops, Bachelor of Science, Conservation Biology. Joanna Michelle Howard, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Nathan William Hudson, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Michael Alexander Humitz, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Dominic John Hunt, Bachelor of Science, Fishery Wildlife Management. Dustin Bo Hunter, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Brian Huntley, Associate, Applied Science, Paramedic Technology. Tanner James Huateri, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology, summa cum laude. Cole Allen Hersky, Associate, Electrical Engineering Technology. Rachel D. Heistad, Associate, General Studies. Quinlan Douglas Ireland, Bachelor of Science Psychology, magna cum laude. Garrett Randall Ivanen, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Courtney Lynn Jacobson, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics, cum laude. Jill Jacqueline Jocks, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, magna cum laude. Kelsey Johns, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Trenton Gage Johns, Bachelor of Science, Manufacturing, Engineering, Technology. Casey Robert Johnson, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Ian David Johnston, Bachelor of Science, Finance and Economics, cum laude. Nash William Johnston, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Rhiannon Sue Jones, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. Peter Charles Joseph, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, magna cum laude. Benjamin David Ray Cadlick, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Caitlin Jean Kane, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, magna cum laude. Veronica Marie Kangas, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, cum laude. Morgan Jane Kelly, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Vicki Ann Kelly, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Jeffrey William Kite, Associate Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement. Alexandria Francis Bell Kahn, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Rebecca Catherine Kilpanen, Associate General Studies. Emily Eileen Kimmel, Associate Natural Resources Technology. Jillian Ann King, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Cum Laude. Katie Elizabeth King, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Madeline Rose King, Bachelor of Arts, Language Arts. Connor Allman Kintz, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Summa Cum Laude. Nikayla Nicole Kirkwood, Associates of Arts, Liberal Arts, Cum Laude. Keegan Emerson Conkle, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Jonathan Edward Cock, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Arisha Kosmiuk, Certificate Culinary Arts Chef, Summa Cum Laude. Gibson Thomas Kramer, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. 
Alston Robert Krikorian, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Gabriel John Cromer, Certificate Culinary Art Chef, Summa Cum Laude. Madeline Ann Kruger, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Molly Kate Kuczynski, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Christina L. Quarsini, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Summa Cum Laude. Erica Lafoual, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Terrence John Lamb, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Madison Ray Lama, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Alec John Langer, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Ryan Douglas Laprade, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Rebecca Elizabeth Lathrop, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management, Cum Laude. Eden Ray Latulip, Bachelor of Science, Computer Engineering. Zachary Nathaniel Lawn, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Kalina Aaron Leach, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Alec James Lesk, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Amy Marie Lehigh, Bachelor of Arts, Literature, Creative Writing, Magna Cum Laude. Mitchell Thomas Lavassier, Bachelor of Science, Computer Engineering and Electrical Engineering. Cynthia Lapida Levin, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Cum Laude. Jonathan Vincent Lincia, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Management. Stephen Michael Lippold, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Management. Wyatt Gerald Long, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Brady Scott Loop, Bachelor of Science, Conservation Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Dylan Ray Loop, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management, Magna Cum Laude. Madison Eileen Ludke, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Cum Laude. Logan Reese Latrol, Associate Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement. Sayun Ma, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Gavin John McIver, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Selena Irene Malcolm, Bachelor of Science, Medical Laboratory Science, Summa Cum Laude. Carson Garrett Manger, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Mitchell Stephen Manorino, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, Summa Cum Laude. Madison Marie Marsh, Bachelor of Science, Conservation Biology. Vaughn Elaine Martins, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Melissa May Martin, Bachelor of Science, Parks and Recreation. Emily Jo Matelski, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Summa Cum Laude. Alex Patrick Mathias, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Reese Andrew Mayhew, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering. Caleb Connor McCastle, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement, Summa Cum Laude. Trenton Yale McCullough, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Cum Laude. Sage Nicole McDermott, Bachelor of Science, Sociology, Magna Cum Laude. Marissa Elaine McIntyre, Bachelor of Science, Fishery Wildlife Management. Brendan Alexander McKay, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Marketing, and Finance and Economics. Rihanna Stevie McKechnie, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Marketing. Emily Joanne McCurchy, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Anne Michaela McLeod, Bachelor of Arts, Language Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah Danielle McNichol, Bachelor of Science, 
Fisheries Wildlife Management. Hannah Lynn McQueen, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology, magna cum laude. Chase William James Meehan, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Joseph William Meyer, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist, magna cum laude. Chandler Ellis Keith Messer, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering Technology. Claire Frances Moe Meyer, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology, magna cum laude. Jessica Lynn Miles, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. John Robert Miles, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry, Pre-Professional, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Chemistry, cum laude. Lydia Judith Miles, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, magna cum laude. Darren Hunter Miller, Associate, Electrical Engineering Technology. Victoria Ann Miller, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Benjamin Scott Moe, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Adam Derek Allen Moffat, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology, magna cum laude. Tamara Nicole Montroy, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, magna cum laude. Brooke Ann Moore, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Management, cum laude. Tyler Eugene Moore, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry. Morgan Rose Morgan, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts. Daniel Garrison Motts, Bachelor of Arts, Literature, Creative Writing. William Marufus, Bachelor of Science, Political Science. Dylan James Merdeza, Associate, Natural Resources Technology. Alyssa Nicole Mulford, Bachelor of Science, Conservation Biology, cum laude. Casey Patrick Murphy, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Alexis Ann Murray, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, summa cum laude. Montserrat San Juan Navarro, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Amanda Rose Neuenschwander, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, magna cum laude. Samantha Nadine Neve, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, magna cum laude. Jessica Riley Nicholas, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Chemistry. Andrew Thomas Nemec, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Madeline Hope Neinstedt, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Kayla Marie Norgan, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Joseph Mark North, Bachelor of Science, History, Bachelor of Science, Social Studies. Mason Scott Norton, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Tyler James Newson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Caleb Matthew Nigren, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Michael Lee Olthoff, Jr., Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist, cum laude. Claire Adeline Onak, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, summa cum laude. Danielle Marie Ormsby, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Sarah Rain Ostwald, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Doyle Lee Owens, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Gabrielle Elise Pace, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Kelly A. Painter, Certificate, Culinary Arts Chef, Summa Cum Laude. Adam John Palumbo, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Jacob Thomas Pinozo, Bachelor of Science, Conservation Biology, Summa Cum Laude. Hunter Richard Posh, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement. Ethan Aaron Pasalacqua, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist, Cum Laude. Daphne Rose Patton, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Chemistry, 
summa cum laude. Logan Elizabeth Palowski, Associate Natural Resources Technology. Isaac M. Payne, Bachelor of Science, Manufacturing Engineering Technology, magna cum laude. Noah Scott Pearson, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Alexis Rose Penzing, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, cum laude. Alexis A. Perry, Associate Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement, magna cum laude. Emma Betty Joan Pearson, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. Nathan Alexander Pym, Bachelor of Science, Manufacturing Engineering Technology. Madison Mary Pionk, Bachelor of Science, Accounting and Business Administration Management, summa cum laude. Aaron Plagmars, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. Amanda Nicole Popovich, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management, cum laude. Michael Richard Potter, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Claire Margaret Radicke, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry Pre-Professional and Environmental Science, cum laude. Taylor Nicole Ramage, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Chemistry. Kelsey Lynn Reger, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, cum laude. Millie Grace Reed, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Evelyn Ruth Reeves, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Management. Amanda Lynn Reed, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Erica Leah Raymond, Associate Small Business Administration. Brad Michael Renner, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Derek Michael Reynolds, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Dylan Sean Richards, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering Technology. Sarah Ann Rickard, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Julia Grace Riker, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement. Olivia Ray Rivard, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, magna cum laude. Jacob Andrew Roman, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, cum laude. Evelyn Margaret Ross, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, summa cum laude. Nicholas Chase Ross, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Brian Stephen Ross Detcher, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Jaron Edward Rowe, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Stephen Rogerio, Bachelor of Science, Political Science. Kayla Marie Rush, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Samantha A. Russo, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Lacey Doreen Ryan, Associate, Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement, Cum Laude. Colin Lee Sackerman, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Homeland Security, Magna Cum Laude. Julian Colin Salo, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Jonathan Sanchez, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Homeland Security. Jenna Renee Sanderson, Associate, Social Work. Nicholas Anthony Santuro, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Law Enforcement Certification. Jason Jeffrey Sove, Bachelor of Science, Fish Health. Grant James Scherfenberg, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Patricia Ann Chesky, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Management. Brooke Nicole Schooley, Associate General Studies. Chelsea Joe Schrader, Associate General Studies. Jonathan David Skybor, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Samantha Carol Scola, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Management. Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Mitchell Jacob Scott, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. 
Lucas Eldon Selberg, Certificate Culinary Arts Chef Magna Cum Laude. Andrew Selke, Associate Criminal Justice Law Enforcement. Jesus Serrano, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering. Taylor Rianne Severance, Bachelor of Science Biology, Bachelor of Science Psychology, Cum Laude. Kelly Ann Sexton, Bachelor of Science Business Administration Management. Lauren Nicole Seymour, Bachelor of Science Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Emily Grace Shaw, Bachelor of Science Political Science. Deborah J. Shawa, Bachelor of Science Business Administration Marketing. Ashley Nicole Sherland, Bachelor of Science Psychology. Cheyenne Kelly Autumn Shotwell, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Jacob Thor Seeloft, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Kyle Russell Silvas, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Cameron Scott Simon, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Stephanie Marie Simpson, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Kyra Sixberry, Certificate Culinary Arts Chef, Magna Cum Laude. Christopher David Skinner, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Douglas Dwayne Smith, Jr., Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Harrison Roderick Smith, Bachelor of Science, Computer Engineering. Caitlin Victoria Smith, Bachelor of Science, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Madeline Elaine Smith, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Shelby Anna Smith, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Sydney Ray Smith, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry Pre-Professional, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude. Emily May Sokolovich, Bachelor of Science Nursing, Cum Laude. Robert Timothy Southall, Bachelor of Science Computer Networking. Stephanie Ann Spaniak, Bachelor of Science Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Grant R. Spray, Associate Criminal Justice Law Enforcement. Alexander Rhodes Stam, Bachelor of Science Biochemistry Pre-Professional, Summa Cum Laude, Katherine Stark, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Summa Cum Laude. Christopher Michael Stemke, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Jill Marie Steffen, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Andrew John Stevens, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Brianna Leah Stevens, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Brooke Ashlyn Stiles, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Magna Cum Laude. Addison Trey Stotler, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Donald Lee Straw, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Brooke Lynn Strawn, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Sierra Autumn Strutz, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry Pre-Professional, Summa Cum Laude. Luke Charles Sullivan, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Marketing. Peter Scaran Summers, Bachelor of Science, Finance and Economics. Bryce Jordan Sunquist, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Jacob A. Swedberg, Bachelor of Science, Conservation Biology, Summa Cum Laude. Lindsay Janet Tunis, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Management. Caitlin Eileen Thebo, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Magna Cum Laude. Courtney Nicole Thompson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Katie Diane Thompson, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry Pre-Professional. Kylie Darlene Thompson, Bachelor of Science, Sociology. Ricky Beth Timmer, 
Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Marketing. Michaela Elizabeth Titus, Bachelor of Science, General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Emily Lou Trest, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Gina Noel Tajeski, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Ashley Lynn Udell, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Kevin Merritt Valley, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Management. Garrett Van Heisen, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Jacob Robert Vandermeil, Bachelor of Science, Parks and Recreation. Teresa Jean Van Dyke, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist, Summa Cum Laude. Nicole Megan Valaket, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Gabriel Quinn McLaughlin Verdusco, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Bennett Vida, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Summa Cum Laude. Morgan Renee Villemur, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Marketing. Angelo Serfino Vitali, Bachelor of Science, Computer Engineering. Elizabeth May Warner, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Magdalena Joan Wazalewski, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Management. Riley Ray Waterman, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Cheyenne Grace Weber, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Marketing. Justine O. Weber, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Emily Therese Weir, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Carly Ray Wiesen, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Victoria Louise Wellman Teeple, Associate, Computer Science. Heather Ann Wentworth, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Brendan Scott Westenbarger, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Seth Austin Westfall. Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Amanda Joyce Whalen, Associate Paramedic Technology, Magna Cum Laude. Diego Wilhelms, Bachelor of Science, Finance and Economics. Roger Adam Wilford, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Michaela Jean Williams, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Holly Wise, Associate General Studies. Natasha Marie Wolchek, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Christopher Allen Woods, Bachelor of Arts, History. William Paul Wooten, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Douglas Ronald Weibold II, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Chemistry. Caitlin Elizabeth Yance, Bachelor of Science, Fisheries Wildlife Management. Ian Thomas Yazell, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Cameron Michael Young, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Tyler Donald Young, Bachelor of Science, Fire Science Generalist. Angela Zemzadia, Bachelor of Science, Finance and Economics, and International Business. Reese Gunner Zolke, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. President Hanley, it is my pleasure to present to you the graduating class of 2020 of Lake Superior State University. By the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan, the Board of Trustees, and by recommendation of the faculty of Lake Superior State University, I hereby confer the degrees of Associate, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and certificates with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Graduates, it is now my pleasure to congratulate you on this important accomplishment and milestone. If you are wearing a graduation cap, you may now move your tassel to the left side and forevermore keep it on the left side. Congratulations to all of you. We have heard many words today, which is expected at a commencement ceremony. But the two most important words heard today 
And two of the most important words in the English language are thank you. Whether you receive a well-deserved thank you for doing a nice thing, or you offer those sincere words for receiving something special. I believe these are the most important of words that we use in our interactions with one another. All of us at Lake Superior State University offer a special thank you to all who have joined us for today's celebration. We offer our thank you to all of the parents, family members, and friends who have joined us for this occasion. We also offer a special thank you to our graduates who had the vision to seek a university education and to achieve it. Now, in my final duty in today's ceremony, I hope that all of the graduates today will turn to those around you who have supported you through your university education and offer a thank you to them. It's your turn to acknowledge your parents, your grandparents, your brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, friends, and everyone that, who stood by you when your spirits were low. Those people who stood by you when you didn't think that you would make it to this day. Those people who celebrated with you after you received a great grade in a particularly tough class. Or those people who stood by you when you needed a lift after you received an especially tough grade. Or whoever stood by you as you traversed the last few years of your life. It's now your turn to say those most importance of words. Thank you. Finally, let me close today's ceremony by saying, we, your family of Lake Superior State University, give our, all our respect and best wishes to all of you as you graduate from this institution. As you go forth today and begin the next chapter of your great adventure, always remember that we at Lake Superior State University stand with you. It is now my duty to announce the closure of the 58th commencement ceremony for the class of 2020 of Lake Superior State University. In recognition of the new graduates, the Abazi drummers from Bay Mills, Michigan will perform a native honor song. <laughs> 